Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have the second part of the analysis of Muhammad Salah. So I want to remind you that you can always watch the first part if you haven't already to cover the previous topics. And just like the first part, all the clips and the stats in this video are from this season only. So as we all know, he likes to cut inside and shoot with his left. However, he tries to keep both options available to confuse the opposition. Then he sets his shot up and goes for it. In the one versus one situation, once the opposition stops, he takes his decision. Obviously, this allows him to take the advantage as the opposition tries to accelerate again. Whenever he has the space, he uses the setup touch to increase the accuracy of his shots. Try to go for this setup touch whenever you have the chance as well, as you always do it in training. His ball control is amazing, which helps him keep the ball in such situations and make the finish looks easy most of the time. He manages his runs very well. Notice how he stopped to exploit the space here if the chance comes and then he won the second ball and used a one-touch finish to end the attack. I've made a full video explaining the different types of shots that you can learn to improve your finishing in different situations. The link will be available in the description. Here again, another one-touch finish, taking the advantage from the ball's speed and power and adjusting his foot for the finish shot. Notice how in this example he covers the ball using his body by placing it between the ball and the opposition. So now let's have a closer look on his shots so far this season. Salah has had 1 of 4 shots in the Premier League, 20 shots of them were scored, 31 shots were missed, 24 shots were saved by the opposition's keepers, 1 shot hit the woodwork, and 28 shots were blocked. So here's the final overview of all his shots so far this season. Here you can see that he is not facing the goal. This is the importance of the positional awareness. He does not need to turn around and check where the goal is before shooting every time. You need to always be ready whenever the ball reaches you. Here he was positioned very well inside the box, so Milner leaves the ball to him. He does not panic and again one touch finish. Here he knows that he will not reach the ball in the air, so he doesn't challenge the aerial but make sure he's there if the defender makes a mistake, which happens so he's ready to take the advantage. We have always spoken about the importance of scanning the pitch on this channel. I'll leave some links in the description down below if you want to know more about it. You may have noticed how Salah prefers to stay a bit backwards during these hit pieces. This positioning allows him to be in position to win any second balls, not only win them but be able to shoot and score from them. He goes for many one-touch finishes in these scenarios. Salah has an average of 3.4 shots per game, from which 1.3 were on target. But you can always see how he uses the same concept even without set pieces. This awareness helps him have more shooting options. Before we continue, I just wanted to thank Be Your Best for sponsoring this video. Be Your Best is the perfect training tool for footballers. It is an interactive VR tool that will help you increase your scanning and decision making abilities. The link will be available in the description down below. Salah has improved a lot in this aspect. You may have noticed the transition in his body as well. He started using a lot of body fins and adding some flair to his game as well. You can see in this example how he used all the previous topics that we discussed to create a 1 vs 1 situation for himself inside the box. And by doing that he goes for a simple body fin to set up his traditional finish shot on his left. 
He completed 45 dribbles with a 50% success rate. Salah has a huge role in Liverpool's counter-attacks technique. This goal perfectly explains it. In this example, Liverpool won the ball after West Ham had their corner. After clearing the ball away, three players from Liverpool started sprinting to provide the attacking support. Trent Alexander-Arnold instantly raised his head up to look for possible options. Actually, he had three options, a short pass to Henderson as he runs in front of him, a long pass to Salah, or switch the play to Shaqiri. Choosing Shaqiri was the best option here as if you have the opportunity to switch the player during a counter-attack, it will be really useful as it will slow the opposition down even more. As you can see, the defender is asking his teammates to cover Salah as he moves out to press Shaqiri. So Salah takes the advantage of that and moves to his right. As the counter-attack is progressing, the players keep sprinting forward. Now Shaqiri has two options, either a short pass to Robertson or a direct pass to Salah inside the box. He goes for the second option as it is the faster option compared to the other one. Plus, he plays the pass with his first touch to increase the pace even more. Finally, to wrap things up, world-class control from Salah to complete this perfect counter-attack. So far this season, Salah scored all of his 6 penalties. As you can see, the run-up is similar, he goes for a lot of power in every shot, however he goes for different directions. Salah scored 20 goals so far in the Premier League, which is actually more than his XG. As you can see, it shows that the expected goals are 18.2 only. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I thought about doing this one a little bit longer than usual, in two parts actually, because this video was requested a long time ago, when I uploaded the video that you can see in the background right now the tactical evolution of Mohamed Salah. I analyzed his playstyle in different teams over the years from al muqawilun in Egypt to Basel, Chelsea, Fiorentina and Roma, but we didn't discuss his playstyle in Liverpool, and that's why this video was here as you requested it in that video. So I thought these two videos will help make the other one now complete. You can always watch it, it's a bit long, 20 minutes actually, I'll leave the link in the description down below. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.